welcome back. You might be familiar with the particle accelerator at CERN, but did you know that until recently, every home in the land had a particle accelerator in it, including yours, and it went under the snappy title of an electron gun. I was teaching my sixth form the other day, and whilst talking to them, I suddenly realised that there was a whole generation of my pupils that had never ever seen an old-fashioned computer monitor or an old cathode ray tube television. They lived in a world which was all flat screens, and they were really surprised when I told them that old TVs used to be much deeper. They used to have a much bigger box, used to take a while to come on and warm up, were extremely heavy to carry, and actually had quite small screens. Later on in the conversation, one of my pupils pointed out that if you watch The Simpsons, you'll see Bart, certainly in the older episodes, sitting in front of what looks like a really large monitor or TV. It's an old-fashioned cathode ray tube TV like the ones we used to have in our houses, and the box has some real depth to it. In fact, when we had computer monitors with our old PCs, they took up almost the whole depth of the desk. Nowadays, you're all used to flat screens, but in those days... Um, the case was quite deep and inside it was a cathode ray tube and inside that was an electron gun. And it's that I want to talk to you about today. So if you look at an old TV case, you'll notice it's quite deep and it has the screen at the front and then it tapers down into a sort of triangular shape behind with a stand underneath. Inside that is a glass tube we call the cathode ray tube and the one we use in the physics laboratory looks something like this. In other words, the front of the screen's here and all old TVs used to have round screens until they could square the picture up a little bit. And then as you work your way behind it, um, you'll see that the shape sort of tapers away to a narrow bit at the back. That explains why the case had a sort of square front and then was sort of triangular in shape or wedge shaped at the back. And at the far back part um, of the case of the TV was an item called an electron gun. It's the electron gun I want to show you today. And I want to show you how it fires electrons through this cathode ray tube and how they hit the screen at the front and begin to make a picture. From now on, it gets a little bit technical. So here's our cathode ray tube and I've got a stand here. It's a bit like the case of a television, um, and uh, this is the front, so the bit you'd look into, and then this is the back of the case with the wires coming out where you'd plug it into the mains. And in the back of this is our electron gun. And what that'll do is it'll produce electrons from a high temperature filament, like the inside of a light bulb, and electrons will boil off that filament, and we're going to accelerate them across the tube and get them to hit the screen. So we've got our cathode ray tube on its stand and in the back of the cathode ray tube is the electron gun. So let's see what we have to do to produce a very fine beam of very fast moving electrons. If you remember, the first thing we need is our hot filament. So I'm going to plug into the back and what that's going to do is connect a low voltage, about six volts, into what is basically an old light bulb. It's a filament that will glow red hot. And I'm going to turn on the power supply and this is why you had to wait for TVs to warm up, because um, the filament took a while to get hot. But it will begin to warm up inside this part of the tube. Now, what will happen is electrons will have a lot of energy and boil off that filament, but immediately be pulled back onto it, because electrons are negative, and they'll leave a positive charge on the filament. So what we're going to do is put in front of the filament a very, very positive place, an anode. So what that will do is it will produce an electric field between the filament and the anode. In other words, the very positive anode will encourage electrons off the filament. It will accelerate them across the tube. But to encourage them to go off the filament, remembering electrons are negative, let's make the filament very negative as well. So I've got two voltages here. I've got a low voltage which is six volts to warm up the filament. And I've got a few hundred, in a TV it would be a few thousand volts, between the filament and the anode, which is going to drag or push electrons off the uh, filament and accelerate them across the tube. 
The trick is though that the anode is hollow. So when the electrons accelerate towards the anode, they pass through the middle of it, accelerate, and as they accelerate through the system, uh, they leave the anode a long distance behind, and what they'll do is hit this screen on the front of the tube. I'm gonna move the camera in a second so you can see what happens when the electrons crash into this phosphor on the front of the tube. So I've turned the cathode ray tube so it's facing you. You might remember that the old cathode ray tubes in old TVs were made of glass and you could tap on the front and you might have noticed two things about that. Firstly, the fact it was glass. And uh, secondly, you might have got a slight electrostatic shock from the electrons that built up on the screen. This white you can see here is a phosphor. And when the electrons crash into it, they will convert their kinetic energy into light energy. And this phosphor is a green phosphor. So it might look white at the moment, but when the electrons hit it, uh, they will release their kinetic energy as a photon of green light. So you might remember old TVs. Yeah, you had to turn them on. You had to wait for them to warm up. So what's happening is the filament is warming up. The anode voltage is already up at about 500 volts or 300 volts on this power supply. And slowly but surely you have to wait until the filament gets hot. And you might begin to see a green spot appearing. And uh, that green spot will end up sitting pretty much in the middle of the screen. Now, obviously, it's not a very interesting picture, but to get a TV picture, what we did with this green spot is scanned it from side to side and up and down and drew the frame of the picture you wanted to see. Um, it was one of the reasons you needed a screen saver, because if you left the spot on the screen for too long, it would actually burn a slight mark in the phosphor. So what we'll do is we'll turn out the lights and see what this looks like in the dark. So there you go. That's the electron gun. In other words, a hot filament in this part of the tube with electrons boiling off it, a very positive anode in front that accelerates the electrons, making it the gun, and the high-speed electrons travelling across the tube and crashing into the coloured phosphor at this end. So, if you had a TV in your house, the old kind, or a computer monitor, you really genuinely did have a particle accelerator in your house. Hope you enjoyed that video and I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>